Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a nail polish review plus also a small haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started. So today what I'm going to be reviewing for nail polishes is black and white nail polish, white nail polish, and also some clear coats. So first things first, I am going to be starting off the small haul first and basically I got everything from the dollar store, so yeah. So the first thing that I got from the dollar store was this um, Wet n Wild 5X or 5 times Volume Natural Looking Enhancing Effect and it is the Mega Volume Mascara, again from Wet n Wild. And the reason why I got this is because my eyelashes are growing like longer so I figured, well, why not get something for mascara? And then the next one that I got, I don't really know if this counts because it's kind of like just like a refill. So I don't, like I just said, I don't really know if this counts, but I got a refill on my lipsticks because I'm almost out, so yeah. So yeah, and everything else that I got was nail polish. Okay, so first things first, I was just going to bomb this up so I don't drop anything. So, um, I know that I'm just going to start off with clear coats first, but I first wanted to show you guys what I got. So, first things first, um... If you guys watched my birthday haul, you probably saw that I got a bunch of Broadway Nails um, gel coats or gel nail polish, but I didn't get a gel top coat. So they came out with a new top coat for longer lasting gel look from Broadway Nails, Gel Strong Top Coat. And before, what I was using is the, just like the plain Broadway Nails um, like clear top coat, and that's only supposed to be used for like the regular nail polish, so yeah. The next thing that I got is... Hashtag 60 Snow White Brow White Nails High Shine Nail Polish, and I really needed a new white, and I'm going to tell you guys why. The next one that I got, I can barely see this, it says Brow White Nails High Shine Nail Polish, hashtag 59, blackout, or I like to call it blackout black nail polish, so yeah. And then the last thing that I got is this Brow White Nails Nail Art Paint, and I like to call these small nail polishes, and just in case you guys are wondering, or if you guys get confused, just let me know ahead of time. If you ever hear me talking about small nail polishes, this is what I'm talking about, so yeah. So first things first, like I was saying before, since clear coats come first, I'm going to be comparing all my clear coats that I have, or most of my clear coats. So first things first, I have the Broadway Nails High Shine Nail Polish Hashtag 56 Clear Top Coat. That's the first clear coat that I have. The next thing that I got from my haul, the Gel Strong Top Coat from Broadway Nails. And then the next thing that I, and then the next thing that I have here is just the Fresh Paint Professional Nail Lacquer. And um, first things first, um, I'm going to be rating all these nail polishes from five, from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst and 10 being the awesomest. So I would rate this like a 2 because number 1, I don't even know if this is, I don't even know if this is, like, I know for a fact that this is a clear coat, but what happens if you have no idea what a clear coat is? It doesn't even say. So, yeah, so that's why I'm giving, so that would equal up to like a half point, I guess. Um, but other than that though, it does say fresh paint, professional nail lacquer, and it says professional, so that's why it would be a 2. So, yeah. And then definitely, um, see for information, this says, this even, like, it tells you all the ingredients, like, right on the cap, and even says, um, what, like, what it is, and then it also has more information, and this has, like, a ton of information, so, this I would give, um, a, a 9 out of 10, just because, um, what, actually, what am I thinking about, why did I gotta give that a 9 out of 10, I don't know why, um, actually, never mind, I give this a 10 out of 10. And then this, since I haven't really used it, I can't really rate it, so I'm probably going to rate it at least a 9 out of 10 because it is gel coat, and I don't really use gel coats that often, but that's, that's like, for me, I don't use it, but that does not mean it can't be a 10, so, yeah, these two, I guess, are either 9 or 10. So, yeah. Why would I peel this off? I'm not going to peel that off, though. So, yeah. So, those are my gel coat. Oh, these are my clear coats, so, overall, I would not really recommend this, but these two, I would, so... So next, I'm going to be um, doing white. So I'm going to be comparing or reviewing the Broadway Nails High Shine Nail Polish Hashtag 60 Snow White to one of the most cheapest nail polishes on the planet, LA Colors Color Craze Nail Polish with Hardeners um, Energy Source White or just Energy Source. I would not recommend getting this piece of crap, I heard that, because why do I have it upside down, you might ask? Because there's, look how full this thing is. And there, I can't even get anything out of here. It's beyond, it's, it's, I don't even, it, what the heck is a better word for tacky? Because, a worse word for tacky. This is not even tacky. It's, I can't, I don't know, I don't know how to explain this. This is, 
I thought I could right now I would smash this, but I can't because I also got white nail polish all over the place. I'm zooming on me. But this is one of the most cheapest nail polishes ever. I, this gets a zero. Yeah, zero is a number two. So how about zero out of ten? This gets a zero. So yeah, and I don't care if that stays upside down for a year. I am never using that again. My other white that I have, but I don't really know if I should put, bring this into this because this is a small nail polish. Um, so yeah, but this is better. Imagine this, this is smaller and this is, this is better than that. What I was doing before is since like it has like a, a small brush, it would like drip. So I would put like those little dots on like at least two of my nails at the same time. And then I would have to use that to put it on. And that thing was sucking up the nail polish. And I'm like, but it's sucking it up, but it's not even, it's, I don't even know how to explain that. That thing, if you buy that, smash it. Smash it. It's horrible. So, yeah. So, are you kidding me? This already gets a 10 out of 10 on it. So, like, already, like, happening. So, yeah. So, I would definitely recommend using my nails. I would throw that out. If you guys have that, throw that out. So, yeah. The next thing that I'm going to be comparing is the Broadway Nails High Shine Nail Polish Hashtag 59 Blackout or Blackout Black Nail Polish with my other blacks. And I have three black nail polishes. So, the first black nail polish that I ever had is the LA Colors Color Phrase Nail Polish with Hardeners. And it's Circuits. Then my recent, my next nail polish that I actually got this recently, it's by Sally Hansen, Heart is Nails, 880 Black Heart, and, again, and it says it again at, on the top of the cap, 880 Black Heart, so yeah. So number one, um, this nail polish right here, um, it's not, it, this is better than the white, um, not, not, not the brown white nails white, that other one. Um, Basically, this is like a little bit thin, but no, not really. But I would recommend that I would recommend using this if you don't like to have big, 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 thick and tacky nails. Because if you want big, thick and tacky nails, go after this one. Because this one is so thick. What I have to do is afterwards, I have to kind of like wipe off the brush completely, and then I'll just kind of like take it across my nails, and I'll just like try to get it off. So yeah, because like it's so thick. So overall, I definitely Broadway nails would win. Um, and also this, I guess. So I would rate this one probably uh, at least like a three, like a three and a half, because it it's it, it it's good, but it's really really thick. So this is a three out of four, three out of four. It's a three out of ten. And this one I would rate at least a five out of ten. And then this is like a ten out of ten. So yeah. Sunset new. That's sunset new. I'm gonna put that in the bottom. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm going to go on to the small nail polishes. Um, basically, I have, again, the LA Colors Art Decker Nail Art Lacquer, which is white. And then I have the Broadway Nails Nail Art Paint, which is, again, 36, 36E Black. Basically, um, which one would definitely, like, if you had to choose, which, you had to choose at least one. Oh, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know because they're both really, really good. So yeah, but the thing is though, like this, like this one's like it's not that small, but it's like a little bit more smaller. I don't know. Um, I would say both. I I would not be able to choose. So yeah, because this one's a lifesaver from that other stupid white, and then I haven't really tried this one out yet, but it looks like it should work. So yeah, if it doesn't, then that one automatically wins. But yeah, so overall these two are both winners. So um, I will give this one a 9 out of 10 because it's, like I said before, it's smaller and it's not like the big nail polishes, but that's what it is. So well, actually, I'll, I'll give it a 10 because it's really small. It's small. And this, I will give it a... I will give this... A 9 out of 10, and I have a good reason why. Because if you were to act just plain, do a design, this would be a little bit thick. But if you're going to use it, like, for, like, actual nail polish, definitely 10 out of 10. But, see, I would give this a 9, again, because it's a little bit thick if you're just going to use it for designing. So, yeah, so basically, you're reviewing, you're going over again. For white, brow white, the big brow white nails, hashtag nail polish. I'll show you guys. This one, definitely winner. That one is crap. Huh? Um, for blacks, um, the Broadway Nails Nail Polish, and then also the Color Craze one. And then, um, for Color Coats, the Gel Strong Nail Polish, and also the Broadway Nails Nail Polish. So, yeah. And then, for the small things, both. So, yeah. Let me think, um... 
So yeah, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later.